Carpetbaggers are northerners who travel to the south with bags made out of used carpets. They used carpet bags because they were sold for only one to two dollars. They usually traveled in groups. After the Civil War, towns and cities were destroyed. Southern wealth decreased by two thirds and northern wealth increased by fifty percent. Although carpet baggers are labeled by the southerners as people who take advantage of their situation in order to gain wealth, some carpet baggers actually did help the South in many ways. Some help the South rebuild their homes for the benefit of themselves and of others. Some were out for money, while others were helping educate and employ ex-slaves. Some carpetbaggers swindled other Southerners. Some helped with Freedmen's Bureau. Freedmen's Bureau was a U.S. federal government agency that aided the free slaves. Carpetbaggers are similar to scallywags because they have the same motives. Scallywags originated from the south, while carpetbaggers came from the north. Senator Charles Sumner quotes in his 1868 speech, The carpetbagger is the symbol of our whole na population. Nobody who is not a carpetbagger, or at least a descendant of one. Constantly, the country opens its arm to welcome carpetbaggers from foreign lands, and yet the cry ascends that carpetbaggers are to be driven from the south. Here, permit me to say that if anybody is driven from anywhere, it will not be the loyal citizen, whether old or new. The carpetbaggers reconstructed the states of Mississippi, North Carolina, South Carolina, Louisiana, Alabama, Georgia, Arkansas, Texas, as well as Virginia and Florida. Some of the carpetbaggers wanted to reform the South as an image of the North because they thought that the North was more advanced in society. Although some carpetbaggers did gain opportunities for wealth, many of them were motivated by the desire to help the freed slaves. The Ku Klux Klan is a terrorist organization that went against the Republican leaders. This relates because carpetbaggers helped African Americans establish political and economic equality for blacks and they helped them vote because but KKK went against the government's way of demolishing segregation. He enforced civil right laws and fought the Ku Klux Klan violence. He won passage of the 15th Amendment, which led to the protection for African American voting rights. He built the Republican Party in the South, based on black voters, carpetbaggers, and scallywags. This was the first time African Americans were represented in the U.S. Congress.